come here to kick ass and eat goldfish crackers. And I'm all out of goldfish crackers. You know what? Turns out my, my leg's kind of messed up too. Ah, oh, fuck this shit. I'm just gonna go home play video games. Greetings, fam. Let's welcome back to Let's Play Crash Team Racing. We're doing the last things in Crash Team Racing. It's the finale. Woo! Purple gem cup. Turbo track and then we take he can tan oxide and punch him in the face. America don't know where the hell I'm going with this analogy. The purple gem is special, if you couldn't tell. We're racing all the bosses. On all their home tracks. And uh, unlike during the actual boss races, they don't have their crazy power-up scheme. They just use what everyone else uses. With the exception of force fields, clocks, warp orbs. They basically use every what everyone else uses. No, you're going to watch me get destroyed over and over again by Bahu Babu because he's the fastest of the four bosses. I thought I was going to land on that beaver, that's why I used my shield so soon. It doesn't help that he keeps throwing them at me, isn't it? Yeah, look at Pinstripe, he's so far behind. Like, it's not for nothing that I say Pinstripe is the worst of the four bosses. Like, and the Purple Gem Cup explains that point better than I ever could. It's just, he will basically only ever get fourth at best. Because all the because uh, all the other bosses are that much better than he is. Also, your reward for this, since you already have all the bosses from all the other cups, since you got Pinstripe from the Yellow Cup, if I didn't mention that. Do it in editing. Uh, oh wow. I didn't know we were on lap three, but yeah. Welcome to the uphill battle that is the Purple Cup. Of beating Papu Papu again. Like when I say Papu Papu is the hardest boss in the game, I mean that. Your reward for clearing this is actually a character known as Fake Crash. Now, Fake Crash is basically a meme in and of itself. Okay, so how do I describe Fake Crash? In Japan, they were like um, advertising the Crash Bandicoot franchise, so they made a toy out of him. But the design was completely messed up. Like he had these like gnarly set of front teeth and these super bushy eyebrows. <laughs> Completely different. Watch your back. And the way his eyes looked, just like it didn't look like Crash at all, even though everything else about him was the same. Fake Crash kind of became an in joke in Crash Bandicoot as a series. Like he's made appearances in. In, well, this game as a playable character. He's a playable character in Crash Bash in the Japanese version. He's a, he has a he's a boss. Yeah, he's a boss in Entrance, which was the first place I saw him because I never unlocked uh, Big Crash as a kid. He makes a cameo in. Um, he's this makes an appearance in Twin Sanity in the last world of the game, where he basically kidna where he kidnaps Neon and then he, and then he creates a Doc Amok section where he tries to kill Cortex, and then after that he makes a cameo in Crash Purple slash. Well, it might just be Crash Purple. I don't know if it's Fire Orange. Could be for all I know, but I'm not certain. And after that, his last appearance 
was he was a playable character in Crash Boom Bang. But that was his last appearance in the series. I just think I just think his existence is like hilarious, and that it still persists after so long after. Like this basically was a marketing snafu. Like they weren't trying to make him jump. Papu came in last. Okay. Like that one point's probably the only point Pinstripe's going to get throughout this whole cup because he sucks. But hey, uh, it's only Dragon Mines and the Hot Air Skyway from here because we're because obviously we're doing all the boss courses. Oh boy. I like how it's defaulted me the first every time. Like, I came in second in Ruse Tubes, but, like, it's just, we're just sticking to the fault order. I. We can get one here. Never says. Never says he fucking got one. Have some of this. Wow, uh, Pinstrip sack. Look at all that mad shit about him, deservedly so. And he's just like, yeah, no, I'm actually the best, as it turns out. May as well just use this now. Catch up here at least. Oh. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> real fucking scream. Oh, <laughs> wow, I got everyone with that. Because I suck at taking this. Say good night. Oh, fuck. <laughs> wow. Pinstripe finished in something not fourth. Or not fifth. He actually finished in second. That's that surprises me to no end. So ah, the fact that he's not the worst performing boss in this cup surprises me because he generally always is. Because all the other bosses are better than him. Like even though, like even though it's not necessarily coming to fruition and Joe's performing the worst out of all of them, which surprises me. I still think Finchrap is the worst before boss races. He's still better than any of the defaults. That doesn't mean. That doesn't mean. I think fake crashes stats are actually identical to regular crash. Now that I think about it. Okay. So all I have to do. Drive into obstacles on the course. Say good All I have to do is finish in a place higher than Papu Papu and then win because we're tied. Although I think Rue has 10 points, so. I kinda wanna finish as high as I can. Slow down. Oh, I have three of them. I didn't think I did. I thought I only had one. Yeah, I'm gonna get the missile.
I honestly didn't think I made that jump. If I pull far enough ahead of Papu Papu, he's fifth. He's very fifth. It could take a miracle for him to make a comeback, but he probably still can, because he has the stats to do it. I thought I hit him with that. Oh, thanks, I don't want to slow down. Here, you can stay in place now. <laughs> oh, son of a bitch! He came out of nowhere! I thought I had free. Okay, now you can get out of the way. Probably go fuck yourself. This race is mine. This race is mine, and it's not out for anybody. Except the wall. Woo! We did it! I got the purple gem cup sucky gave me like well it's still closer than I would have preferred it to be. My hand is starting to hurt. I have been doing this for like over an hour. All three parts combined. Because I've done all the gem cups in one session. I wanna just get this done. Now that we've done that, the only thing left to do is turbo track. You've unlocked, you've unlocked. I believe you've also unlocked turbo track for play once you've gotten all the gems and done the relic race for it. Honestly though, relic rack. Meh, relic race. Like the name implies, turbo track has a lot of turbo pads on it. Other than that, it's literally no different than Slug Coliseum. Yes. Oh boy, I love recording on the sister's home and her noise can noise her computer makes or the music that she listens to can be heard straight from my room. Uh Whoa Is this, this place a trap? Like what the hell? Like that's one hell of a exit way, isn't there? Cause there's a fucking snake curve. It shouldn't exist, but it does. It does. I say I deal with it. I thought I could jump over those. Well. At least we tried. We failed We failed spectacularly, but we tried. This 
So you don't want to take the dribble pass there. Cause then you just like speed off into a wall. Maybe I can, if I just keep going behind the tires. I missed the free crate. This place seems to be more slide friendly than it's like Hall of Oh wait, I have this. Okay, I got plenty of time. Oh, I got gold by quite a good margin there too. So all we gotta do is beat an oxide again. We got all the got all the time relics. my arm. Wait, shit, I didn't want to retry that. Go back to the map, Billy. You got what you came for, now let's go home. I think this we have all the time relics, and that's like gives us another quote. Boy, keepsies, huh? I'm not scared of you, Anax. I already kicked your ass once. Barely. But I still did it. So I'll do it again. Ow. Yeah! Drive straight in that invisible wall! An Oxide's final challenge in Oxide Station. This time for keeps. Oh the fuck you went for a starting gun again! Honestly this challenge isn't any different than last time you fought on Oxide. thing is again, if you get in front of him, he only has his stats to catch up because he doesn't have items that he throws ahead they can throw ahead of him really. Problem is, I'm quite a ways behind him. And missiles aren't that effective because he doesn't really slow down if you hit him. Use an item. Stop shuffling. Damn. to a wall.
a lot closer to him though than there was when, I did this the first, when we fought him the first time though. Whoa! What the hell was that? Getting trip missiles is basically the only effective thing. I have the I have what I need to get in front of him, the problem is I need to I need to open enough space to hit him. Cause he just litters the trap for so many things! Right, we're ahead of him at least. But... The issue isn't the fact that we're ahead of him, it's just can we stay ahead of him? Because like I said, he has the stats necessary to get back in first and hitting him with things doesn't slow him down, he keeps moving forward. But I guess as long as he's willing to drive into everything... easier this is when there literally isn't a mountain of crap in front of you. I don't know, I'd say I'm quite the match for you on Oxide. So we just beat you again! There we go! We're the best in the world! Leave my earth alone, damn it! And don't you ever come back. He, he kind of does come back. He comes back in Nitro Kart where he's playable and nerfed. Oh well. Can't actually play as an oxide in this game, which is kind of sad, but yeah, oh well. You beat me once again. Now I have to go back to the planet gas Moxia, a complete loser. I must be getting slow in my old age. That's it. I'm finished wasting in these mushy, backward worlds. Keep your miserable planet. I'm out of here for good. Thank God, you're a sore loser, Anoxide. <laughs> Crash sold his life story to a major movie studio. The film entitled The Color Orange will be released for the Christmas season. So yeah, Crash can now be found somewhere on the beach down under doing what he does best. Dancing and napping. So yeah, since we got all the time relics, basically 100% of the game, we now get alternate endings to Elvin Crash. And Cortex went back to scientific research and discovered a new element in the periodic table. Numerous lawsuits failed to change the name he boldly chose for element 117. Cortex rules the world, Liam. They're cute little things. Tiny Tiger moved to Beverly Hills and found the popular chain of pain and gain fitness clubs. This tiny bow exercise made millions on infomercials around the globe. Coco went on to start her own internet dating service. Although her company is still in the red, share prices are going through the roof. Engine opened a custom auto parts store in Toledo, Ohio. Maybe we can just pick random places for these. The store closed after a massive recall when his patented clear the road missile system sparked havoc on the nation's fruits. That's so angry. Sequel that went on to found an animal breeding program for the creation of unique and interesting pets. 
His motto combined them all, spurred such successes as the Gerbat, Kangarooster, and Dingorilla. Puller began the head taste tester for a leading ice cream company. Bold new flavors okayed for production include salmon, swirl, squishy, squid sundae, and mackerel mints. Pearl joined the Las Vegas Tiger Show of Zig, Field, and Floyd. The starring role came to a disastrous end one day when Pearl accidentally closed his mouth a bit too early. Floyd will be sadly missed. Fitzgerald became a used car salesman in New Jersey. Oh shit. <laughs> His top salesman each month be smirked. People decide on a car quick. <laughs> That's why Tommy Gun comes out. That's just how New Jersey works. I should know. I live there. Tommy Wild Wrestling Association changed its ring name to Mr. Bad Belly. The signature move of the Bad Belly Bounce was finally banned by the WWA after free wrestlers suffered severe rope friction burns. Ripperu was elected state governor to everyone's surprise. Uh, not mine. You seen my country's government? Anyway, the slogan "Crazy as this crazy does" created the groundswell of public support, and even started whispers of a run for the presidency. Oh no! Komodo Joe opened Honest Joe's wedding ring and rare gem outlet in Zurich. After a series of sting operations, Joe was convicted of laundering stolen Kubrick zirconians for the Couch Slouch Shopping Network. Entropy began tinkering with his time machine hobby again. He was last seen entering a time warp ball traveling to some ancient rainforest. The last rust is timeless. So entropy is an unlockable race, and uh, Nitrous Oxide went back to the planet gives Moxie a broken alien. After years of therapy, Oxide emerged from seclusion to begin racing again. Unfortunately, the unicycle was a poor vehicle choice, <laughs> and his resulting accident was too gruesome to detail here. Amy became a race car driver herself, saying, I'm sick of giving out trophies, I want a few of my own. Isabella did a bit part in the season finale of Baywaters. Liz posed for Bandit Boy magazine, biting her dream Malibu mansion with the earnings. Megumi shortly unveiled her new line of perfume called Odacute, featuring the alluring scent of fermenting muffa fruit. Yeah, it just. Just cute little things like that at the end. And we also get the Naughty Dog scrapbook. From So this basically just shows all the details that Naughty Dog went into creating characters for the Crash Bandicoot series from 1994 to this last game that they worked on here in 99. So... While we're just let this play, I guess I'll just... AE3 1996. Wow. I forgot it was that long ago. E3 is ancient, Jesus. I guess I'll just talk about what I thought. I love this game to death still. Like, this is still my favorite kart racer style game of all time. Even though I, th even though I also like Nitro Kart and I love me some Mario Kart from time to time. There's just, there just isn't anything that I think can top this game for the amount of fun that I've had, the amount of playability that's just straight out of the game. It's, it is enough of a like Mario Kart-esque style game, but that doesn't mean it's a copy of it. It doesn't make it bad by any stretch of the imagination. <laughs> I just think this is still, this is probably one of the best. PlayStation 1 game. I'm sorry. I just saw Santa crash right there. And I think I know what my name. Fuck. I wish I had seen that before the new year came. I'd have made that my picture on fucking. On fucking Discord if I knew about that. God damn it. So good. Yeah. CTR is a fantastic game. If you. I believe it's available for download on the PSN for the PlayStation 3. And I just hope to God this one day does get a remaster in the same way the first free Crash Bandicoot games did. Cause it's, cause it's just as deserving as uh, the original Crash Bandicoot game but like, where it fixed. Crash 1's remaster fixed literally every issue I had with the game. Crash 2, 
Food Remaster is fine. Cra Warped is also still fine. I think the original Warped is still pretty good, but like... If this game got the insane trilogy treat, there's fake crash right there, you saw him. But like, if this were to get the like insane trilogy treatment, I think it would be amazing. It would be just an absolutely amazing game. I can. I, I really just want to see this game remade. I'm, I'm just like half marveling at the scrapbook. It's really good. So what do I do from here as far as Crash Bandicoot game? Because there's still one more PS1 Crash Bandicoot game. The problem is, that Crash Bandicoot game is also Crash Bash. And it is annoyingly bullshit to go through in adventure mode by myself. So, this might be... So I don't know if I skip Crash Bash and just jump straight into Wrath of Cortex. Because as much shit as Wrath of Cortex gets, deservedly so, it's still a solid game by itself. And I kind of want to go for that because I, I haven't played any of the PS2 crashes in a long time. But I'll leave that because I did mention I would was going to play through Spiral Year of the Dragon. That's probably the next major PS1 game that I'm going to go through, or one that I definitely have the motivation to just sit through it in its entirety. Chris Crash Bash. Oh God, that's a, that's a video game right there. That is definitely a video game. It's fun and I love it. Don't get me wrong, but it's so bullshit sometimes. I'd have to go for a strictly like un only unlock all the mini games requirement for beating that game because otherwise I'd just be there forever. Anyway, now that we've done that, I'm gonna overwrite this save. So now that we've done that, and actually put to the main menu to see what we've unlocked for doing all this. Because I have So for arcade races you can do like just one Let's see we have crash Ripperoo, Komodo Joe, Papu Papu, Pinstripe, and here's Fake Crash. Two Cup Mode, Wumpa Cup, Crystal Cup, Crash Cup, and Nitro Cup. It's, it's. Huh. That last track is Slide Coliseum, not, not, not Oxide Station. It looks like the cup setups here are different than they are in the campaign. I'm fine with that. Um, okay, you can, ra you can race Fred and there's battle mode, which is basically just point hunting in all the crystal arenas. There are also a few other things, like there's time trial mode, so. Each track has its own time trial, oh, and once you, um, wait, shit, I forgot Circle Cat. 
We got circle counts. Like you do, I think you have to do this in time trial mode. You beat the track time that's set, and then you get an, an entropy ghost on the track. And if you beat all the entropy ghosts for all the tracks, you unlock entropy as a main character, not a main character, a playable character in arcade mode. And then you unlock the N oxide ghosts, and if you beat all of those, then you're a god at CTR and I bow at your feet. But you don't get anything else. There are two other characters you can unlock if you don't want to do the time trial thing, which I don't blame anyone who doesn't. If you hold L1 and R1 at the start here, and then hit down, left, right, up, down, right, right, and you hear that signal, then you just unlock Entropy. I think Entropy, sta entropy stats are pretty decent. They're on their boss tier level. I don't want to actually race. You have to do on the main menu here, like, so this one, one with Adventure Time Trial, all that. There are passwords for all the bosses, so you don't have to go into Adventure Mode to get the boss characters. Like Papu and you have to hit L1 and R1 for all of the unlockable characters. So Papu Papu's is left, triangle, right, down, right, circle, left. Ripperoos is right, circle, circle, down, up, down, right. Pinstripes is left, right, triangle, down, right, down. And Joe's is down, circle, left, left, triangle, right, down. There's also one other character in this game. If you put in L1 and R1, as always, then down, right... Shit, I'm covering it. <laughs> down, right, triangle, down, left, triangle, up. You unlock this character, Penta Penguin. Penta Penguin has a perfect 5 out of 5 in every stat. She literally stat checks N Oxide and beats him, basically. She's the best character in the game that you can play as, hands down, because you can't play as N Oxide at all. But yeah, here's every playable character in Crash Team Racing. Like, if you just know the passwords, I think there are passwords for Slide Coliseum and Turbo Track as well, but I don't know what those are. Actually, no, I think Slide Coliseum is default unlock because it's part of the cup races. So you just have to unlock Turbo Track, which Turbo Track isn't really worth unlocking, honestly. You just do it for the bot, you just do it for the characters. But you have so many options to choose from. There's 15. Aces to choose from, which is double the cast of Mario Kart at the time. I know Mario Kart's cast of characters is insane right now. Yeah, there is so much available to just play, to just pick up and play this game with a group of friends. Which is mostly why I want to see this come back as a remaster some point in the future. I know it. I know it has a potential. I know it's going to happen, and I want it to happen so badly. I guess I should say. But anyway, that's it for me with Crash Team Racing. I still have Fire Emblem Seven with Merc, Arrow, and Matt. That's not going anywhere. Mostly because we haven't sat down and recorded. I, it's it's the holidays. I I cut myself some slack there. I'll just let this demo play. Why not? While I'm just saying my last few thoughts. I'm probably going to... I'm putting the axe to Pokemon Crystal. I, I, I know I have to one day redo that LP, but I just don't have the motivation to do it. It's just always been my biggest Achilles heel when it comes to that game in particular. It's just A, I think Heart Gold and Soul Silver have it beat out as a completely better game, and I just can't enjoy it, play it as much as I used to as a kid. Because I don't think Gen 2 age the best. That's just that just gets in my way personally. Other than that, 
I'm not sure what I want to play through next then if I'm axing Pokemon Crystal. And I'm still doing FE7, I still need to come up to Pokemon. Crystal. Spots for a later date. I think I have a idea of what I want to do. But I'll leave that hanging for now while I go while I go think it out in more concrete terms and I'll return to it with the same half ass determination and vigor that I put into all my videos. So I've been feeling with 2510. This has been Crash Team Racing. Thank you all for watching. Goodbye, everybody. See you next time.